Check this out. It's the new Lynx Apollo. It's another new electronic e-rig. The cool thing about this one makes it a bit different from the Puffco Peak and the Peak Pro and other similar devices is that you can use this with its own bubbler, but you can also use it with your own bubbler. It's got that dual function. So how does it actually measure up to the Puffco Peak Pro, for example? Let's find out. So here it is, the Lynx Apollo comes in this really nifty carry case. The bubbler is quite different. I love the look of it. It really stands out as a different style bubbler from the Puffco Peak and the Puffco Peak Pro. But it's also got a very cool other feature where you can actually use it with your own bubbler. So I'm really excited to give this a go and see how it works. And that's the function that I want to test most of all. How does it work when paired with my own bubbler? So I've got a little ripper right here. We're going to test that straight away and see what it's like. So you've got this little adapter piece here that goes on your bubbler and then the actual unit itself sits on top. It's a really nice looking unit. It's quite small and quite easy to carry around. It's got this kind of carb cap and tether. Um, it's got a little quartz glass bowl with a sort of a cup. If I take off this glass piece, you'll see what I mean. It's quite thin glass around the edges and underneath at the bottom of that dish is a coiled heat element. You can see it under there. And these are actually removable atomizers that screw in and out of the base unit. So you can replace the whole heat element and that whole atomizer section and the glass and everything if any of that stuff breaks or if it burns out um, which I guess it probably would do over time so it's quite a nice simple design there's just the one button there micro usb charging on there and then yeah as I said before you can either put the bubbler on top and hit it like that or as we're going to do first of all try it in your own glass. So this is a totally different feature that other e-rigs don't really offer. So we wanted to see how does it actually stand up. So when you first get your Lynx Apollo, if you just look at the bottom of the unit, you'll see these sort of rubber plugs stuck in there. It kind of confused me a bit at first. I thought I had to somehow jam this in there, but actually you pull these plugs out and there's two of them there's one on the outside and there's one on the inside. You just want to pull out the inside one really. You see this one here and then leave this outer sort of piece still stuck in there. And then you will put in the adapter like that. That creates a nice tight seal all around. If you don't have that, you're not going to get a hit, as I discovered before I really understood how all that goes together. The manual is excellent. It's got loads of detailed information in there, but just that little bit about how those rubber pieces come out and what goes in where, it wasn't quite clearly explained. So um, I had to figure that bit out for myself. But here we go. If I pop that in here and then push this button five times to turn it on, and then you can cycle through the temperature settings by pushing the button three times. That's the low setting blue, green is medium, that dark green is medium high, and red is the hottest setting. So I'm going to get my dab ready, and then all you've got to do is just click the button once to start it heating and off it goes and you'll actually see the coil start to glow underneath there to tell you that it's hot.
Well, it works quite well. I've got to tell you, you, you can take a nice dab from that, but it's not particularly hot. Even on the hottest setting there, I don't think it would really stand up to a blowtorch for the hardest dabbers among us, to be brutally honest. Um, the flavor is really nice. For a low temp dab, that is a great way of doing it. It's a nice, simple device with the carb cap kind of attached there. It's nice and easy to use, just the one button operation. It, it all works very nicely and it's, it's not a big thing to carry around with you, but it just doesn't quite measure up in terms of, you know, those really hot dabs, to be honest with you. It's, it's not quite powerful enough. But let's give it a try with its own bubbler and see how that works. Okay, so as I said, this is quite a nice, cool, funky looking bubbler. So instead of this sort of dome that is on the unit when you first get it, I pulled that straight off and I can put this bubbler on over the top. Um, so because the bubbler actually covers the dish with this setup, you've got to have your dab ready loaded into your dish. And that to me is a bit of a downside because I like to have the dish like heated to full temp and then chuck on my dab that way you get the terps and the cbd and all the other active components all evaporating at the same time you get a really intense dab effect um you know i know there are good things about low you know sort of cold start dabbing as it's called um but for me yeah, I'm, I'm not really that into it so to turn it on it's five clicks again and then you just press once to start it heating and there it goes. Now, the first time I did this, I managed to somehow get the water just spilling straight through the device. And like, I don't know what I did, if I overfilled it or something, I can't tell, but um, it doesn't seem to be happening this time. So <laughs> watch out for that though. Uh, I ended up with a load of water right in my lap, but this is heating up nicely now. Yeah, so there you go. Um, once again, it's kind of an underwhelming dab, to be honest. Um, not quite hot enough, uh, not quite powerful enough, it feels like. The bubble is quite nice. There's a lot of airflow through it, um, but it just didn't feel like it was giving me a full dab experience. It was kind of low temp, if I'm honest with you. So although there are good things about it, I think it works a lot better attached to your own rig, to be honest. Um, it just seems like you get better draw that way. Uh, but either way, it's kind of low temp, you know, flavor's good, but you're not going to get that kind of super intense, hot and hurty dab experience that you might get from a Puffco Peak Pro, for example. So check it out for yourself. Let us know what you think. What is your favorite of the e-rigs? And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be with you very soon for more from the Vape Bunker. Take it easy.